Christianity is being completely frozen out of America. Huh, that's apparently Christianity is being frozen out of America. Hmm. And, and instead of offering any real evidence for this, uh, instead we're just shown a picture of a, a flag, some ice, and a cross. Well, oh, wait, I mean, that must be it. The cross is Christianity, right? And then they're frozen. That must be the ice. And. And then the flag represents America. See, Christianity frozen out of America, so they got all three in a picture, and that's their evidence for that. <laughs> Must be true. Why can't I pray in school? I think the better question might be, why do you think you can't pray in school? Because, I mean, if it was actually outlawed the way you guys try to portray it as being, um, you could still do it. You could. You, you, the, the problem you have is that you can't get everyone else to stop what they're doing and, like, watch you and respect you as you pray. Because, I mean, it's so important for everyone to know that you're praying right then. You, you can't just close your eyes and give a quick prayer or just pray in the hallway before school, after school. Before a test, you want to say your little prayer. Like, nobody's going to stop you. It's just like when you want to disrupt everyone else with your prayer, that that's when it becomes an issue and you guys are like I can't even pray in school because I all I wanted to do was just shove my prayer right down your fucking throat and then they said I couldn't so now that means that I can't pray in school <laughs> why can't I pray in school why do I have to check my religion at the door yet yeah, nobody said that you had to check your religion at the door you just don't use it as an excuse to try and infringe on other people's rights Do you understand it's the same way that you would say, like, why does a teacher have to check his religion at the door before he comes in and teaches at a public school? Like, let's say he was a Muslim teacher. Why Why does he have to check his religion at the door? Why can't he teach your children about being Muslim and about all about Islam and Muhammad and Allah? I mean, Christians don't mind that at all, right? No? Oh, wait. Giant double standard. It's only, it's, it's like freedom, and, and it's, you know, to freedom of religion if you want to, put Christianity in schools and if you want to force some kind of Christian prayer but then you're trampling on their freedoms again if you allow any other religion to do the same fucking thing why can't I write about God in my school papers I, I don't think I've ever heard of that where if, if a school paper is about something like a certain subject then then that would be why you can't write on a different subject but if the teacher just gives you free range to write on whatever you want and then you get in trouble for writing about your religion or God or something like that, then that teacher is wrong because they gave you free range. But I mean, if, if they are saying you have to write something about the Civil War and you come around like, God did the freeing of the slave and all that bullshit, obviously that's not uh, exactly a, a good paper on the Civil War. That's you, just you talking out your ass. Why do I have to tolerate people cursing my God, but I am not allowed to talk about God in my faith? Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, but supposedly if your God exists like you say he does, uh, he'll be the one punishing us if we if we curse him or use his name in vain or any of that bullshit, okay? Uh, he, he, it's you have to tolerate it because freedom of speech you 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 live in america and we have freedom of speech so if i say goddamn or jesus christ you you what are you going to do not tolerate it how exactly would you not tolerate it you're going to punish me lock me up what are you going to give me a few lashes I mean, how exactly are you going to not tolerate that and and we we absolutely do tolerate religion you can do whatever the fuck you want as long as you don't impose it on others that's the way it goes. Do you understand that? Just because your religion says that same-sex marriage is bad doesn't mean that you get to go around telling people of the same sex that they can't get married. It means that you, since you're part of that fucking religion, can follow those rules. You can avoid gay marriage. Good for you. You can have the opinion that gay marriage is bad. You cannot, however, make it so some gay people can't get married. Which, unfortunately, that's the way it is. But things are slowly changing. We're going in the correct direction. But you fuckers are on the wrong side of history. You know what I mean? Why are they taking God out of my history books? Oh, damn it. Why are they taking God out of my history books? 
I was reading through my U.S. history book, and it didn't say nothing about Jesus once. Why, why would they do that? I don't get it. I, we, everybody knows U.S. history is all about Jesus. Well, I mean, if you're a Mormon anyway. Why do they teach every other theory in science except creation? Uh, <clears throat> mainly because creation isn't a theory. It's just made up bullshit. I mean, why do they teach every theory in science except that the world is actually a butt plug on a giant pink unicorn? I, I read that somewhere. I found enough people that believe it. Why does science not teach about that? Why are they excluding the theory of pink unicorn butt plug universe? Why am I called names because I believe in marriage the way God designed it? And why are these guys calling me names because I believe in marriage the way God designed it? I don't support gay marriage. I don't see why people are calling me all these names. Some even call us hateful, hypocrites, unloving, close-minded, bigots. And some people actually have the nerve to call us what we are. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're closed mind. You're like people call us closed-minded, but then you say, "Well, why shouldn't gay people be able to get married?" It says so in the Bible, God. But, you know, no, no, the Bible God. Oh, but we, we just, we're supposed to what? Call you open-minded? And, and then you're bigoted towards people, but when you get called bigoted, you don't like that much. So you're hateful fucks, and as soon as someone calls you a hateful fuck, because you are one, you're like, I can't believe they would call me a hateful fuck. I mean, I'm just acting like a hateful fuck. Why can't Tim Tebow praise God after making a touchdown without causing a national uproar? The football coach at Ridgeland High School in Georgia was investigated by the school board. Did he abuse a student? Is he a terrorist? He allowed local churches to feed his football team. <gasps> and, and this is the kind of dishonest bullshit <clears throat> that really turns me off from Christians and Christianity. They're like, they're so morally superior, but, but they just left out all the facts of that story and why he was investigated, and why he was taking, I mean, you could take your, your kids anywhere to have them fed, your football team. I'm sure they're not starving anyway, but no, no, he had to take them to churches and have them preach to while they were eating, and that's why he was investigated, but they leave all that out, and instead they're like, just show the flag and the hunk of ice and the cross, because, I mean, Christianity, frozen America, frozen out of America, yeah, yeah, that's it. We'll just keep pretending like we're so fucking persecuted. You know, we're, we're, we're punching freedom in the face, and then when we break a nail doing it, we're like, Oh my God, did you see what they did to us? In public school, I'm called lesbian. Or gay. For not kissing, or for wanting to save myself from marriage. So, so wait a second. They, they call you lesbian and gay, which is technically only an insult because those people are frowned upon by people like you. <laughs> okay, so they call you the names of the people that you guys are bigoted towards and want to deny rights to because you want to go a certain way. You want to live your life a certain way, and they don't agree with it. How does it feel? Boo-hoo! How the fuck does it feel, you bastards? How does it feel getting your asses, like, called names, and you oh, we get called names because we want to live our life the way we want to live it. And then you turn around and call other people names, and deny them rights if they want to live their life the way they want to live it. You fuck it. And they call us hypocrites. Oh, and bigots. I don't get it. <laughs> fuck you. In public school, dating is an obligation. In public school, people are rude and disrespectful towards Christians. Th this, this sounds like a bunch of uninformed tripe. A a opinion at the very best. It's just opinion. Like, dating is required. No, it's not. There's no rule. There's no law. You just feel peer pressure. The same kind of peer pressure you're trying to inflict on any kids watching your fucking video right now. Like, look at us. We're a group of kids. And we're Christian. And we're so cool. And so be like us, because we're so persecuted. If you've got a victim complex, we've got a club for you to join. And in public school, people are just so, they're so rude and disrespectful to all these Christians like me. Uh, you, you sound... So fucking full of yourselves. More, just more victim bullshit. Like, everyone is against us Christians, even though we're like 80% of the population. Bullying is common.
What we see in our health classes. Sex education. Fourth grade and up. Is pornography. Be being taught how the human body works offends me so. Like, I, they showed me a drawing of the testes and the penis, and there was like a urethra. Oh my god, straight up porn. I got a half chub looking at the drawing of a penis because I'm such an oppressed piece of shit. People make fun of me because I don't believe in abortion. In public school, people believe Christians are goody goods and boring. Dirty jokes fill the hallways between classes. During class, before school, at lunch, after school, on the bus, off the bus. Get the idea? So, I mean, whoever edited this did a fucking terrible job. The first clip is them saying how like Christians are looked at as the goody goodies, like as if that's a problem. But then the very next thing is they're all complaining about hearing a dirty joke. Like, any time. And then they're like, well, I don't understand why Christians are called goody-goody. Despite modern popular belief, America was founded as a Christian nation. <laughs> Despite modern popular belief. <laughs> like the Treaty of Tripoli. Oh, my God. You know, no, despite Christianist, revisionist history, where, where they just... They, they shove under God into the Pledge of Allegiance and then try and pretend like it was always there. Where they, where they slap in God we trust on all the, the bills and the coins and then pretend like it was always there. And then they pretend like everyone was just such a big Christian. And that they, they not only were they, they, let's say all the Founding Fathers were Christian, okay? That you, I'll give it to you, even though it's totally wrong. Let's assume that they were. They were still smart enough to put in the Constitution that there should be no religious test. And that you can't, the government can't choose or promote one religion over another. So even those Christians were much, much smarter than you are. And they, they weren't stupid enough to basically say, get out if you don't agree with me because it's a Christian nation. And I should be able to impose my Christianity on you because I say it's a Christian nation. My grandparents tell me that the church used to be the center of the community. In school, prayer and pledge to the flag was welcomed and appreciated. No one would dare not to stand place their hand over their heart and recite the pledge. America was once a force for good. America was once the hope for the world. And now we're just a bunch of pig fucking ignorant douchebags who, who are just hell bent on like, America is a Christian nation. Everything would be better if we just prayed in school. I mean, obviously the world would look at, Amer as, at America and think, oh, it's a force for good again, as long as we just start praying in school. And we can keep drone striking other countries. We can keep, you know, invading and helping out and doing all that kind of stuff. And, and they won't mind as long as we start praying in our schools again. Because then, then we're a force for good. These, these Absolutely fucking no sense. No, no, makes no sense. No, there's no correlation. Causation, correlation, bah, fuck it. What happened? In 1962, the Supreme Court ruled that prayer was unconstitutional in schools. You're leaving out that all-important word, forced prayer. It's un unconstitu un unconstitutional to have forced prayer. You know why? Freedom of religion. Which, 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 while it gives you the right to do whatever you want with your religion, also gives other people the right to be free from your bullshit religion. Do you understand? It's a double-edged sword. The same freedom that gives you the right to be religious gives other people the right not to have to listen to your bullshit. Got it? In 1963, the courts ruled the Bible unconstitutional. Saying that if the Ten Commandments were read in school, a student might feel inclined to follow them. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. Like, it, like if you read out a list of rules at school, you expect students to follow them, right? So if you're reading out the Ten Commandments and you're not, not only this, they want you to have to fucking pray and not just pray, but Christian pray it has to be Christian prayer. And then they want the Bible shoved in there. And then when they read you the Ten Commandments, they expect you not to take them as rules given to you. And as the school reads you off the Ten Commandments, you're not supposed to consider that rules after they, they shove the Bible back in there and then reinstate Christian prayer. Are you fucking serious? Is anyone out there dumb enough not to... I mean, even other Christians out there should be able to see how fucking retarded that is. That, that of course, that's, what this, that's why the fucking Supreme Court made that decision. 
of course that would be seen as like forcing religion on children and of course they would look at it especially after you shove the you know make them pray and give, put them bible in each of their hands they're gonna fucking think yeah i better follow these 10 commandments otherwise i'm gonna burn in hell children are susceptible to that bullshit and that's why we keep it out of schools Obviously, indoctrination is an issue. Look at all these retards I'm responding to. For over 50 years, Christians have been unwilling to get involved. People who do not love our God have stolen our country. They stole our country. <laughs> Jesus said we are salt and light. Salt and light melt ice. Did you learn that from your creation science teacher? <laughs> it is time for a thaw. President Ronald Reagan called America a shining light on a hill, a beacon of hope for the world to see. USA, 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 USA. We are going to let our little American lights shine. Through the power of Jesus Christ, we proclaim today. We refuse to be frozen out of the public square. Our voices will be heard. Your voices will be heard because you are not frozen out of the public square. You you were totally free to make this video. No, you didn't like have to quietly make it in a basement or something. You're totally free to make this video. You're also totally free to post it on whatever websites you want, including YouTube here. <laughs> Absolutely no issues. Nobody's freeze. Nobody's like take down this video. You know you are fr Christians are supposed to be frozen out of the public square. You fucking idiots. You victim complex douchebags. Let's reverse it. Fix it. We are going to turn it around. This is a call to our generation. Jesus. It's a call. A bunch of waterheads calling a bunch of other fucking waterheads. We are calling on the youth of America to join us. At Reach America, we are creating a Christ-centered counterculture. A C4 community. A place filled with Christian teens on a mission to reach America and our friends for Christ. Oh, well, I assume that the government is shutting you down, right? Oh, no? No, in fact, the government gives you like a tax-free status for your church and your bullshit. The same, the same country that's freezing out your Christian crap is is totally allowing you to do it for tax-free, and you're frozen out in such a way that that you are able to just create your own groups. Christ and our country matter to us. At Reach America, we are learning to lead our generation. We are servants, encouragers. We are learning to hear God's voice and adjust our lives to His will. God is changing our lives. We are building life-changing relationships. We are a family. We are a team. We are an army. Christ is our commander. His will is our charge. Except that you, you, your commander, Christ, you, his will, you don't know what the fuck it is. You, you just take the word of like, whoever wants to interpret the Bible or whatever, you know, for their own meaning. And that's the Christ's will never comes from Christ himself, not from Jesus. It comes from people who claim to speak for Jesus and speak for God. You know, arrogant sons of bitches, kind of like you kids. We are impacting our friends, our families, our community, our state, our country. We are in a war for the hearts and souls of our generation. And we know it. Failure is not an option. You'll notice that the, the, the war they're fighting is against, like, secularism. Pretty much. They're, they're not fighting against any other religions, really. I mean, not here in America. I mean, they don't want to afford those religions the same rights, but what they really have a problem with is secularism. And isn't it funny that people come to secularism just not because we're like, seculars are like, we're fighting a war and we want to recruit everybody. Ooh, yeah. We, like, you know, failure is not an option. It's just facts, common sense, evidence, you know, the fact that you have to be a complete moron to ignore all those things, and then, you know, uh, things like evolution, you're like, there's not enough evidence for that. But then you claim there's plenty of evidence for creationism and shit. Yeah, you deserve to be laughed at. Failure is an option. All you do is fail. All you fuckers do is fail. We are going to win this war. If God be for us, who can be against us? That was the closest thing to the Hitler youth I've seen in a while. Like, God mit uns. The thought has begun. High school Christian teens, join us. Join us. Join us at Reach America. In the fight for our generation. For our nation.
for our future. Go on. Go on, join the Waterhead Club. <laughs> join us. For the future. In America, we still hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator. With certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And the ability of Christians to ram their shit down your throat. But no? Yeah, I guess I guess if it, ramming Christians ramming their shit down your throat, that would make the Christians happy. That's their pursuit of happiness. So fuck your happiness of, uh, you know, if, if not having it shoved down your throat, imposed on you, would make you happy, fuck your happiness. That You're imposing on their freedom of religion by not letting them impose their religion on you, you idiot. Octopus out.